Hi everyone, I welcome you all on the Yourpedia platform. I am Jatin, your mentor from the civil branch. Friends, today I am going to analyze the previous year paper for the HPCL exams. As you all know that HPCL is regularly conducting the exams without gate. That is very important. Without gate from 2021 onwards. That we have exam in 2021, we have exam on 2022, 2023, 24. Now this time 2025. HPCL has come out with a notification and there is a lot of vacancies for the civil engineering or definitely I, I am talking about only civil engineering right so friends as you all know that your PDI is conducting the different modules and you have to understand one point one thing is that every exam has a different approach if you want to crack the gate exam so there is a different approach if you want to crack the some PSU exams there is a different approach right there's a different approach so your pedia is conducting a module for the hpcl we have already conducting the module for bail exam like we, we we have also started the module for the isro exams right so but every exam every module has a all tailor made modules that means every module is the exam oriented module right in this module basically we are going to cover these entire topics but we will cover only that part which is very important for your exam point of view that is very important right if we talk about the soil mechanics suppose that you have a soil mechanics subject geotechnical engineering so we are not we, we have not to go through all the soil mechanics in detail no need to go through that we only prepare we only focus on only on those areas which are very important for hpcl exam right getting my point so basically in this module which we are going to start from the 7th of june so in this module this module is the only exam oriented module so if you want to prepare if you want to crack the exam if you want that uh, if you want some platform where you can prepare so you can join us interesting candidate can call the institute then uh, you can join our module clear now friends uh, what is the purpose of this video that i will tell you from 2021 onwards there is a like we have a four exams as i told you that 2021 22 23 24 what is the demand of this HPCL exam? HPCL exam in, in exam you have 170 questions. Out of these 170, 85 questions from your technical background and 85 questions from your non-technical background. If we talk about this non-technical background friends, so there is a 34 question for your quant portion, 34 question for your reasoning portion and 17 question is there for your English portion. So if we talk about the technical, there is a 85 question, right? And friends, these 85 questions that questions includes all the subjects no doubt question includes the old subjects which are written there these old subjects are included but 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 questions are very simple questions are very simple but you have to understand you have to understand this that you not need to prepare all the subjects in detail you don't have this time right so so that's why i am talking i am here uh, i am here for analyze for the analysis of these four exams in the past four years like if we talk about structural engineering right in the structural engineering we study like engineering mechanics solid mechanics strength of material and your structural analysis part construction material concrete structure steel structure these are the subjects from your structural engineering right but in the structural engineering if we see the number of questions have been asked in 2021 engineering mechanics consists two marks right 2021 22 23 24 there's are two marks definitely they ask you question like if i if i tell you that the question is related to like moment of inertia cg center of gravity something like that right so this is very important domain so in j mechanics it uh, consists two questions in your exam solid mechanics if we talk about solid mechanics three questions are there from the solid mechanics and this very simple question right structural analysis there's a variation like some uh, 2021 there are there are three questions 22 two questions 23 four questions and 24 there's a three questions like construction material concrete structures we have this like out of these structural engineering maximum question if we talk about maximum question maximum question consists this part concrete structures four three four five questions right so similarly if we talk about the geotechnical engineering again geotechnical engineering that huge weightage is there like geotechnical consists soil mechanics foundation engineering and if we talk about this 8 and 6 14 questions are there that means soil is very important subject friend so 8 questions in 21 7 6 7 6 6 6 6 24 7 or 6 question that means there is a plus minus 12 or you can say 13 plus minus 1 is there 
if we talk about the weight test, if we talk about the number of questions, there's a 13 plus minus one. So you have to focus more on this geotechnical engineering. This is very important subject. So this is very important weightage subject. Again, in, in the water resource engineering, there is a fluid mechanics, hydrology, hydraulics part is there. So fluid mechanics consists coverage of these questions 4, 5, 5, 4 and hydrology consists 3, 4, 3, 2. And if we talk about environmental engineering, environmental engineering friends, there's a raw water and waste water engineering <coughs> and mostly in environmental engineering basically it consists three parts first is your water part air part and solid waste in the water part there is a four or five questions in the air part there is a three or two questions solid waste there is a three or four questions and solid waste is very important solid waste is very important the questions are from different level right so solid waste is very important for your exam that three to four questions are there in the exam transportation engineering and there is a highway engineering, railway, pavement. So highway engineering consists of four to three marks. And railway engineering, there is a two, two questions are there. Pavement designing, three questions are there. In the geometrics, surveying portion is like that. There is a fixed pattern. Fixed questions are there. Fixed questions, only topics are leveling, curves and errors. Whatever the questions have been asked in uh, these past four years, in the exam, uh, it is observed that, that only these topics the questions have come only from these topics and these questions are very important this that means errors if you if you if you go through this uh, error theory of errors if you go through these curves the questions are very very important these topics are very important seven six question weight is huge again right if, uh, if we talk about other portions that other portions like you have a building works innovative technical like questions are there so this consists of six to three nine question to plus minus nine plus minus one weightage is there the so total 85 questions are there so friends i want to say that you have to focus the subjects and you have to focus if you want to prepare geometrics then only focus on these subjects i am not saying that no need to go through the other subjects you have to go through the other subjects but not in detail you must have the knowledge of other topics also in the surveying but not in detail Right. For exam point of view, what type of question can be framed in the um, in upcoming exam that we will talk about in the classes that okay, I, we will tell you that uh, some pattern on the same pattern, some type these questions can be framed. Right. So this, this is the analysis, basically. So this is the analysis. So you if you want to prepare as I already told you, if you want some platform that from where you can prepare your journey, you can start your journey with us. And we are starting the module from 7th of June. Okay, interesting candidates can join us. Okay, thank you everyone.